Deleted levels in video games have always been the source of fascination for gamers, and one of the best known examples of them are the four deleted zones in Sonic 2. Hidden Palace, Wood Zone, Dust Hill, and Genocide City. They are all listed on the level select screen of a publicly available Sonic 2 beta. Hidden Palace and Wood Zone can be partially played, and there is an old preview picture of what was believed to be Dust Hill. Genocide City, however, is a mystery. Selecting it, and the beta will simply load a blank screen, where Sonic will instantly fall to his death. The lack of information, and excessively threatening name, have made this zone one of the biggest mysteries in gaming. Recently, I came across what was claimed to be a complete beta of Sonic 2, which had all the missing zones intact and fully playable. I was skeptical that such a thing existed, since deleted levels were, you know, cut, because they were never finished, so it wouldn't even make sense. But the download description claimed every zone to be completed, and removed, for an unexplained reason. I started playing this beta, aside from Tails not being present, and gameplay. He was on the title screen. The game initially seemed identical to the final version. After completing Green Hill and Chemical Plant Zone, however, I ended up in Dust Hill. Dust Hill was pretty similar to the screenshot. Standard desert themed level. The oddly slow banjo music in the background was a little unsettling, but everything else was normal. Just like a normal Sonic 2 zone. The Robotnik boss, his standard vehicle with robotic arms shooting laser guns. Although they fired standard energy bullets, after Dust Hill, I went through the Aquatic Ruins, Casino Night, and Hilltop Zone with no differences. From the ones in the final game. After Hilltop, I entered Wood Zone. Like Dust Hill, this fit perfectly. With the exception of some odd textures and carved wood platforms, they looked almost like faces. The music had a tribal feel to it. Robotnik was fought on a new floating platforms above, and a spiked pit used an axe attachment to his vehicle to eliminate platforms and attack you. In Mystic Cave Zone, I noticed the first difference from the final version, besides the added levels. I collected the seventh Chaos Emerald in it. I didn't get any message about Supersonic, just Sonic got them all message. I couldn't turn into Supersonic either. After completing the Oil Ocean, I went to the Hidden Palace Zone. It was pretty much like the version in the well-known beta, nothing unusual until I got to the end of the second act. Tails was tied to the Master Emerald. Robotnik was hovering above him, doing a laughing animation. Sonic turned into Super Sonic and ran past the Master Emerald, grabbing Tails right before Robotnik fired a gigantic beam, shattering the Emerald. I got a message saying, Sonic save Tails, and the screen faded. Metropolis Zone started. I could change into Super Sonic with 50 rings now, and Tails was following me. The rest of the game was like the normal version. Genocide City Zone never showed up. Confused about Genocide City's absence, I looked around online, trying to find information about the version I had just played. I couldn't find anything, so I decided replaying the game without the Chaos Emeralds. Everything in the game was identical, until I reached the Hidden Palace. Tails was still tied to the Emerald, and Robotnik was still above him. Sonic ran to the Emerald to try to save Tails, but Robotnik fired the energy beam diagonally, knocking Sonic back. Robotnik fired his huge beam at the Master Emerald, hitting Tails this time. I heard a loud, high-pitched shriek, which I guess was supposed to be the voice of Tails. When the beam went away, Tails and the Master Emerald were both gone without a trace. Robotnik did a laughing animation and flew away. Sonic did an animation I had never seen him do before where he fell to the ground and just laid there. The words, you couldn't save him, appeared on the screen, and the level faded out. The next zone, as I was expecting, was Genocide City. When it loaded, it was a blank screen. Just like the well-known beta, Sonic fell to the bottom and died. I had 14 lives then, and this falling sequence repeated itself 13 times. And I was down to one life though, the level finally loaded. The best way I can describe the graphics is a combination of chemical plant and metropolis zone, with many objects 
in the background on fire. The music seemed to be a remix of the title music, but played with nothing but bass tones. There didn't seem to be any rings in the zone. So, being down in my last life, I proceeded with caution. There didn't seem to be any enemies in the zone either. More and more animals appeared as I went deeper in the level. Soon, the floors were covered with them. The only challenges in the level were some simple platforming sequences. I had to jump over gaps. And the floor led to a burning fire at the bottom of the screen. After going through what felt like a normal Sonic 2 level in length, I reached the goal sign. There was a small gap between the floor and the goal sign. After touching at the sign, instead of running like Sonic usually does, Sonic turned around and just looked at the direction of the cap for 30 seconds. He ran into it, falling to his death. I got the game over screen. What? I had forgotten that I had a couple continues earlier in the game. I selected the yes continue option, but I heard an ear splitting buzzing noise like games do when you choose the menu option you aren't allowed to. I tried a couple more times, but the game clearly wasn't going to let me continue. I finally chose no. In the game over screen, similar to the bad ending in Sonic 1, except of juggling emeralds, Robotnik was juggling the bodies of the creatures you free. I'd reset the game to get away from that title screen. I was disturbed by what I had just seen. This certainly explained why Genocide City had been removed from the game. But I couldn't imagine what made Sega even consider doing something like this. Even though I had already played the game through and gotten to the good ending, I felt like I had to do it again. That I could leave the game the way I played the second playthrough. So far, the third time in one day, I started the Sonic 2 beta. The first oddity was the title screen. Tails was gone from it. Sonic didn't seem to notice. There was a bit of empty space in the circle of them coming out of. I started the game and it seemed normal until I collected 50 rings when I entered the first bonus stage. Instead of rings coming at me wave after wave, bombs appeared. I dodged for as long as I could, but I finally got hit. Instead of doing his lose ring animation, the 3D Sonic model died with a death animation, and the bonus stage ended. The results screen listed zero for every stat, but the message at the top was different. In solid black text, it said, You can't bring back the dead. Getting really scared at this point, I collected another 50 rings as quickly as I could, but the bonus stage I entered was identical to the ending with the same message. I deleted the beta from my computer and downloaded it again so I can get the good ending again. I nearly screamed when I saw the title screen without the tails on it, as I feared I got the impossible bonus stage again, but this time the message was different when I lost. You can't reverse your mistakes. I was terrified and was clinging to the irrational belief that if I could just get a good ending again, everything would be better. I went on a different computer, downloaded the beta, got the same title screen. Acting on baseless instinct by this point, I went to the bonus stage again, the message this time. You have to accept your mistakes. I deleted the beta from that computer as well. I realized that the computers were sharing an internet source and that that was a possibility that it was some kind of trick or virus. I went to my trusty Genesis, took out the Sonic 2 cart that I had for 17 years. If I could just see tails in it, I knew everything would be okay. But I still haven't gotten up the courage to risk it. Every rational part of me knows the beta couldn't possibly affect my cartridge. But I'm too afraid. Afraid of what will happen if I see the title screen without tails in it. I dream about it every night. But I just know that it will get so much worse.